How to use to-do lists and other external tools to remove mental baggage. Being a solopreneur means juggling a lot of balls and being fully responsible for an entire business. Even with a good balance of clients and no unreal expectations, you'll still likely find that things can get out of hand and you can find yourself stressed. When your client messages you at 8 p.m. on a Friday night saying that the work you did for them isn't very good, how can you possibly ignore it? Likewise, when it turns out the software update you released to your customers had a major bug in it on Friday night, again, what can you do? There are a few different systems and tools you can put in place that can help you in any of these situations. In this presentation, we're going to look at some of the most powerful. Autoresponders. The first and most straightforward tool or system to use is your email's autoresponder capability. This allows you to send an automated email to your clients, customers, and business partners whenever they message you after 6 p.m. or on a weekend, and this can say something like this. Thank you for your message. I'm afraid I will be out of the office until tomorrow at 9 a.m. and will be unable to respond until then. If you have a real emergency, then you can contact me on my home phone number at 0 but please don't call if it can wait until tomorrow. My working hours are between 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. This email is perfect because it tells your clients or customers why you haven't gotten back to them and gives them a means to get in touch if they really are in a dire situation. You should find, though, that very few people will actually abuse your home number, so you can be safe in the knowledge that you'll be undisturbed. That said, you can also stop imagining worst-case scenarios. Virtual Assistants A virtual assistant is someone who can handle all types of work on your behalf as long as they don't need to be physically present. Usually, these companies or individuals are based in India or in other countries with lower costs of living, so you'll likely only pay a few dollars for a day's work. Of course, you get what you pay for to an extent. So don't expect amazing quality English unless you are willing to pay top dollar. Either way, though, these companies provide work that can include booking appointments, responding to emails, doing research, handling marketing and SEO, proofreading, data entry, and much more. You can use a digital assistant then to outsource the boring but time-consuming aspects of your job while you focus instead on doing what it is that you do so well. They can also stand in for you sometimes on the weekend. Similarly, it never hurts to know a couple of people who can help you out in a crisis. If you have a friend who works online, you can make a pact with them to bail each other out occasionally if you have too much work. You might even be able to offer some aspects of your work to friends interested in making a little extra money on the side. To-do lists. Sometimes the simplest tools are the very best. A to-do list is powerful because it helps to organize your day and ensures you don't miss any important tasks. But it actually goes way beyond that. For one, having a to-do list means that you can forget about the things that you have written down. Once they're on paper, there's no risk of them falling through the cracks, so you don't need to worry about them. Better yet is to use an app of some sort that will actively remind you. A perfect example is the app Todoist, and if you combine this with an Apple Watch, you can even get your reminders right on your wrist. Let your wrist worry about it, so you don't have to. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.